are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. I'm good too. Not bad. Hmm. Okay. So, first of all, actually, I would like to give you. This one, the top leg. This is the top for writing a letter. Yes, sir. I have given you two of the situation to write. Write a letter to the postmaster. <clears throat> okay. I have given you. Have you read it? Write letter to postmaster of your area explaining that the postman of the area is not performing well. <laughs> Write something about morning time, how oh, it is good for everyone, like for students, housewives. Okay, first one is the letter and the other one is the topic. Yes. And one more I, I want to give you. This is essay. This is essay writing. Or maybe a topic, not essay, maybe a topic. Okay. So these are the three different situations, topics, letter. You should write on it and I'll check it later next time. Okay, sure. Yeah. And today I discuss a lot with Naveel regarding speaking and he told me a lot of things about that. I'll check, I'll check these videos and we practice because actually he wants to focus on speaking as well as on writing. So, Wait a second, please. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yes. But children are making noise. Hmm? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they might be enjoying their summer vacation. Hmm? Yes, uh, this, is, this is the first day of the summer vacations. That's why they want to enjoy. They want to go to yes. bed late night. Hmm? Yes, uh, now they are planning to go to uh, their uh, um, home of their uh, grandmother. Mm -hmm. Actually, in Hindi, we say Nani ke ghar jana, Nani ke Nana ke ghar. <laughs> yes, uh, Nana ke ghar. Yes. You understand Nana? Yes, uh, father of your uh, mother. mother. Nana ke ghar jate na, bache. <laughs> Chutti ho. <laughs> Bilkul, uh, Nana ke ghar planning hai, ja rahe hai. Nana ka ghar hai bhi thandai ilake mein. Achcha, achcha. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nadran areas hai, Gilgit, Baltistan. Okay, okay. So they want to enjoy there, hmm? Yes, they go every year. In summer vacations, they uh, don't waste uh, even one day here after vacations. <laughs> 
and i ask them uh, you guys don't uh, feel any pain for me oh i will spend my t- time alone here you guys are going there to enjoy and i am here alone missing you guys yeah. but they don't want to listen to you no <laughs> yes okay hmm. so in the beginning and this is the first part of speaking introduce yourself second i give you a topic to speak on it then i'll ask you questions today yes shall okay start something yes we can yes so just introduce yourself sorry just introduce yourself okay um my name is tahir yasin and uh, i am a software engineer working here in a uh, multinational company in lahore uh and lahore is a big city of pakistan uh, i think that's it or oh, i just tell you some means i speak on behalf of you okay like uh, hello hello sir i am tahir yasin i am from lahore pakistan i have been software engineer working with uh, xyz company for the last 2 3 years whatever i have got a nice family i have got parents and uh, i have brothers and sisters and my, my hobbies are to play football watching television read motivational books like that okay so now should i try again yes okay um uh my name is tahir yasin and i am a software engineer uh, i am working with a multinational company uh, here in lahore for last 5 uh, years uh, and uh, uh, i got a uh, la- very large family uh, for 11 members um, including my four siblings two sisters two brothers and uh, uh, my mother uh, i am married so uh, i have four kids uh, two of them are uh, uh, two uh, are uh, male and means uh, two are sons and two daughters uh, and uh, my wife uh, is a housewife who takes care of the children and my house that's it okay now i give you a topic or something to speak on it okay and then okay. i ask you uh, how was it the second attempt a little better but still uh, the room for improvement is there okay how is the uh, fluency fluency is okay but uh, grammatically it's not very good because actually you know as you say i am it's okay i am tahir yasin i am tahir yasin i am from lahore pakistan i have been you should say instead of i am a software engineer i have been a software engineer i have been i have been yes i have been a software engineer in xyz company for 5 years because when we use time with continuous sentence it should always be in perfect continuous like i have been okay. i have been a software engineer in that company for 5 years 
Okay. I've got a family. It's a nice family. We try to see uh, how I emphasize on words to make it impressive. I've got a nice family. I've got a nice family. Uh, yes, I've got a nice family. My mother is there. I've got four siblings. And I'm married. I've got a wife and four children. It's a nice family. I love my family very much. You can speak about your hobbies and all. Actually, you have to show that what you do, you love it. What you have got, you like it you love it if you love yourself people will love you if you right, right. if you don't love you you don't love your country nobody will love you nobody will love your country first, right, right. first of all you have to be proud of what you have got right yeah so you should say i've got a nice family you have to focus on that okay you should show that what i have i love it i like it it means you are showing them that whatever you accept you love it right yeah. can you please uh, uh, do it once again so that i can hear it once again yes yes i can do it for you uh, hello, sir. First of all, when you speak, try to speak from here. By your heart. Don't use your brain. That's the thing. What does that, what does that, that mean? <laughs> that means <laughs> be natural. Be okay. natural. Don't think you are speaking in an interview. Okay. Be natural as you have been, as you are. Hello, sir. I am Tahir Yaseen. I am from Lahore, Pakistan. I have been a software engineer in that company for five years. And of course, I have got a very nice family. My mother is there. Four siblings are there. I am married. I have got four children. I love my family very much. I like to read books, watch television, and sometimes on weekends, I like to play football. That's all. Right. Very nice. So it's impressive. I like those. Yeah, it's impressive and it's, it's uh, um, I mean, uh, interesting. When you, when you explain in such a way, it feels interesting. It means you have to uh, make people take interest. In what you see. Yes. It should not look like boring some boring. Yeah. Yeah, boring speech. <laughs> yeah. So like that. So you can introduce in that way. And then talk Okay, let's go. Ahead. Yeah. Topic should be like I may ask you hmm, regarding who is your ideal? Who is my ideal? Or uh, by whom are you inspired to do something good in your life? I am inspired by many people. Uh, like uh, regarding my technical uh, side there are people that uh, that are uh, my inspiration and uh, you should say inspiration yes. inspiration inspiration yes it's not inspiration no inspiration okay. this is the correct pronunciation okay inspiration yes uh, I like uh, uh, Imran Khan very much. He is my inspiration. He is uh, very loyal to 
to the country to know uh, by whom I, by whom are you inspired imran khan the political leader oh imran khan yes yes i know him very famous yes. person he took yes he took world cup for pakistan mm. yes he won it mm. for pakistan and he uh, was a very nice bowler and yes and he was a very nice bowler handsome guy and uh, very nice batsman also in my time actually i was imran khan playing many times in india also okay so uh, i like him because uh, he is uh, honest person and uh, very hard working guy and uh, he is uh, he is very uh, passionate about the country and uh, uh, he want to uh, make the country uh, prosperous and uh, he want to see uh, common person uh, making their lives better so uh, he is struggling for us uh, he is uh, the only political leader that i like and i trust because because of his uh, contributions to the country uh, he has a lot of uh, money on that he earned from uh, his career as a cricketer mm. and after that uh, he also has some uh, uh, a, a huge uh, uh, what do you call it uh, inherited property but uh, he is not interested in making money out of his uh, inherited property or the all the money he has got but he is spending his money on uh, good will of uh, people he created uh, a cancer hospital that is the biggest cancer hospital in pakistan he established you should see. is he established okay he established a biggest cancer hospital in pakistan mm-hmm. now uh, he has created uh, he has established another uh, another uh, branch of that hospital a big one in another province of kpk so he is doing his best to to what extent to, to the uh, extent that he can do uh, so that's why i like him he is not corrupt he is not involved in any time, any kind of corruption he, his name is not uh, connected with any kind of uh, um, scandal like corruption or any other uh, bad things Mm-hmm. so that's why i like him very much as a human being as a uh, leader as a political uh, person and uh, as a uh, businessman also he is uh, he is an inspiration for other people mm-hmm. okay good so now i ask you some questions that topic or your answer okay mr tahir uh you are inspired by that player he was a player earlier now he is a politician so <clears throat> do you want to serve your nation in the same way as imran khan serves uh, yes i want to serve my nation but not as a politi- political leader or politician i don't want to involve get involved in politi- political activities and uh, polit- uh, politician because uh, when you involved in politics uh, you have to be very um, patient patient because 
yeah patient you have to be very patient to uh, to get, to bear the uh, bear the um, negative things of your uh, negative propaganda of your opponents mm -hmm. uh, but i want to serve my nation in uh, in other ways like uh, uh, we can uh, do uh, things for poor people we can uh, we can donate to poor people people and uh, we can establish uh, uh, hospitals in rural areas where health conditions are not good uh, we can uh, provide uh, education uh, services to poor people and uh, distant areas where people cannot uh, go to cities and afford the education so uh, i am more interested in such activities to do uh, some to do something for my uh, country fellows mm -hmm. okay right there means you don't want to be a political leader as your yes, idea sir. is but actually you just want to follow its principles means as yes. he, as he uh, serves his nation first similarly you want to be remain in the same job but you want to serve your nation and you be as honest yes. as he is as, as you earlier told me he is not involved in any kind of scandal or scams he is impeccable man yes other uh, other reason is the political uh, and uh, the leadership qualities every person uh does not have leadership qualities to uh, create a uh, party and uh, lead it he created his own party yes tari ke what is the name of that the name pakistan tari ke insaf yes tari ke insaf i know actually i actually i watched the video of imran khan he was delivering a speech and he was actually praising narendra modi very much and even one more leader of pakistan he was also praising narendra modi the pm of our country actually you know we have got a very nice pm this time yes uh, there are a lot of good things that uh, uh, narendra modi is doing there are a uh, uh, lot of things like uh, uh, he is doing uh, very good uh, uh, he is creating opportunities in it industry uh, it industry got very good boom in his uh, tenure and uh, also uh, he is i am inspired by his uh, uh, his leadership qualities he is uh, uh, visiting different countries and uh, doing good for his country mm -hmm. actually okay we'll talk it about later not now uh, we should focus on our topics one thing yes sir okay hmm. so <coughs> uh, next question i should go for regarding your topic mm. what should be the next question related to that topic 
the topic was uh, my ideal yes yes my inspiration hmm. so what do you think uh, can we have a next question from the topic yes you can ask anything okay it would be good if you uh, create a list of questions and uh, before starting our uh, class so that uh, you are not uh, empty mind no no it, it makes no difference actually uh, first of just i have to know the topic that's only uh, then i note down these questions for you like topics and all uh, then only it's sufficient for if i know the topic okay no problem uh, next question uh, or next topic i give you that was means the who is your ideal and next is mm, why is education important for uh, for anyone today your voice is a little uh, uh, low maybe I, it may be because of your internet connection my connection is very fast you my my volume is full but uh, i can hear you Uh, with some problems it may be because of you know the internet is speed your internet speed might be slow because i have got very good internet speed here maybe now can you listen to me yes i can okay i am i cannot stop myself because <laughs> i have uh, chana chart in my hands i i, I cannot stop myself <laughs> eating it okay 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 you keep it do you want to eat no no i am just having a cup of coffee you can just see it <laughs> i like it very much so <laughs> eat through that i i cannot stop myself no no you keep eating no problem so you are eating chana chart yes yeah it is good for health you know chana is very good for health gram uh, actually i have already had my dinner so i am having a cup of coffee great my daughter prepared a cup of coffee for me every day night is it's what do you how many children do you have only a daughter only daughter yes i have got a daughter she prepares a cup of coffee for me every day before i go to bed and what about your wife she uh, actually she doesn't like the coffee and all so she doesn't make okay okay a very small family <laughs> yes three persons no but i live with my brother yes sorry i live with my brother mother also okay okay my mother is there and my brother's family is also we live together so okay okay so it's a joint family it's a joint family and we are eight eight brothers no 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 eight brothers eight members 
okay 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 yeah. then it's fine we are 11 you are 8 yeah. it's fine oh, yes you have 11 the same is with uh, mr navil he has also got uh, 11 members in his family he has uh, more siblings siblings than me but he is not married yes he is the only son mm-hmm. but he has got uh, four sisters yes okay so my okay, let's uh, okay go ahead my question is why is education important for everyone well education is important for every human being because uh, education uh, gives you the gives you the ability to to uh, differentiate between good and bad and it enables you to survive in the society uh, you know about uh, your uh, about your uh, i mean uh, uh, you know you get knowledge about everything and uh, uh, for uh, women educated women plays a, a very vital role in uh, betterment of society if uh, a woman is, is educated he will be educating his child uh, her, her children she will be. and uh, and uh, education is also uh, important to get uh, a good job in uh, for uh, good job for uh, men because men has to uh do job outside and women has to uh do household or chores so for both of them in our society education is very important you cannot uh, get a good job without good education and uh, uh, same is the case for uh, women women cannot take care uh, of their house in better way if they are not educated they if they are uneducated they cannot teach uh, their uh, uh, children children so uh, in my opinion education is important for both women and men yes you are absolutely right and i would like to speak something on the same question <clears throat> yes my question is that why education is important for everyone of course education is very important for all the human beings actually education uh, Uh, makes you able to understand what is good and what is bad as you told me and yes. definitely without education you are just in the dark side of the light when you be a man somebody is educated he can see the light of the life as yes. uh, as you talked about the woman when they are educated they are educating the family a man is educated man is educated himself only but when a woman is educated woman is educating his her uh, whole family and of course if uh, that competitive world you want to get a better job better living you have to be educated without education it's uh, very difficult for a person to be successful 
correct. So, the question related to that topics are do you think the edu education is uh, expensive these days? Yes. In my opinion, education is becoming a business nowadays. It was not a, like a business uh, in back uh, back in 20 years when we were uh, kids and we were taking education. Mm -hmm. At that time, the education was like a duty for the teachers. Mm -hmm. They were uh, feeling responsible to uh, teach their students and make them a good human being. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, uh, schools uh, are established just to make money and uh, that's why the uh, theses are also very high and uh, people are more interested in making money not, uh, not uh, in, in interested in uh, making teaching the, stu the students to learn and uh, become a good human being and a good member of the society mm. so priorities are, are changed that's why education nowadays is more costly. Government is also uh, not spending very much on uh, education. Their budget allocation is diverted to other things that make them money. So that's why nowadays uh, the uh, education is costly and Poor people cannot afford good education, good schools, because everything is commercialized. Okay. So, my next question. Should government take some necessary steps to establish good institute to provide good education to the poor? That, yes, it's very important for government to take initiatives to uh, provide equal opportunities, equal learning opportunities for poor and uh, rich people. Poor people cannot afford private schools. Mm -hmm. Private schools are having more good teachers than the uh, Government schools, government schools uh, also don't does not have uh, don't have uh, uh, good infrastructures structure and uh, good uh, uh, what do you say the uh, all uh, sitting arrangements classes and uh, everything. Like com computer uh, education is also want to say they don't have facilities. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, uh, government uh, government uh, schools uh, don't have good facilities, uh, so that's why people uh, prefer private schools. And uh, pr uh, when people prefer private schools, private schools uh, raise their fees and. Uh, they make money out of it. So, if uh, government uh, provide good uh, education, good teachers, talented staff uh, to government schools, and on a reasonable uh, cost, so people will not go to uh, private schools. They will prefer government schools. Mm -hmm. Okay. My next question is again very important. Of course, I have understood that uh, the government should take some steps or solid steps to provide facilities to the government schools. But still, suppose you may be a rich or you may be a poor man. I, I, that is not the point, but suppose 
should you means should you be dependent on uh, your education institute for your children to have good education or should you take your own interest to make them educate yes this is very important thing and very good question teachers are responsible to teach their students and uh, parents are equally responsible to take the uh, take care of their kids and uh, educate uh, them in uh, uh, different way teachers uh, uh, only uh, teachers are also responsible to teach them moral values but uh, uh, parents are more responsible uh, for th this kind of uh, um, uh, i mean teaching uh, parents should uh, make their children uh, able to learn moral values uh, and uh, to, and uh, make them a uh, honest and uh, good member of society uh, kids learn uh, books from teachers and uh, uh, learn good uh, moral values from school as well but uh, it's a prime responsibility of their parents to uh, teach them and uh, uh, put a check and balance over their kids not uh, this is not uh, a, uh, the only responsibility of teachers to teach them actually you know it is always said the teachers are the second parents and parents are the second teachers it is yes it is said here in india i don't know whether uh, this is popular there or not uh, you may be hearing it first time but it is said yes uh, uh, not same wordings but uh, the concept is uh, same here as well yes your teacher is like your parent uh, you have to respect him like your father yes okay my next topic so you have prepared education i must note them down actually what was it the first topic was education why education is important why education is important and first one was ideal person yes ideal inspiration inspiration yes and now third uh, third topic i am going to what is the importance of quality food in your life food is very important and uh, quality food is uh, uh, the very important thing for uh, living a healthy life mm. uh, if uh, you are not taking uh, quality food your health uh, uh, your health will be uh, will not be good you will suffer from different diseases uh, so uh, quality food is uh, important for living a healthy life don't know how much i can add it to this topic yeah you can speak a little bit more about it actually you know as a, we are living things and all the living things need something to eat Uh, because we feel hungry and when we feel hungry we need to eat something 
but actually that is not important that uh, we need food but what food we eat actually that is very important uh, food should not be eaten to fill up your stomach food should be eaten to fulfill the requirements of your body are you getting my point yes yes the meat food, food should not be eaten to fill up our stomach of course when our stomach is full we feel satisfied that we have that something that food may be uh, quality food or may not be quality food because you know if uh, the people they prefer to eat like patties sometimes they eat patties samosa samosa do you have samosa in your there you yes sir, it's a very popular food here <laughs> samosa in fact in fact it's very popular in subcontinent india and pakistan yes samosa and kachori you know the people prefer samosa and kachori and the people prefer patties 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 yes sir. vegetable patties and uh, 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 chicken patties yes maybe yeah so the people actually when they are eating such kind of junk food it's okay if you have two of the samosas or kachori you can fill up your stomach with that but this is not quality food actually what you get from that food is not going to build your body that is going to <clears throat> increase obesity in your body and it may increase the cholesterol level in your body means that, that is very important we should have protein rich diet most of the time we need protein rich diet and the, we should have the vitamin rich diet so you should be very careful about it if you are uh, 35 or more than 35 or if you are 40 you should be little bit careful about eating you should try to have vitamin rich or protein rich food only so right the quality food is very important we have to be very careful because actually most of the time when the people they suffer from disease a particular disease actually the disease they don't come from outside if a person who suffers from suffer or a person who suffers from some disease it is created or developed inside his body on several causes are there his food uh, his uh, eating habits drinking habits his sleeping habits lot of things a lot of factors are there which are responsible for him to catch the disease right so quality food is very important in our life i am inspired <laughs> inspired by what inspired by the uh, by your answer so yeah, all you, so it is better all you, yeah all you collect all these thoughts and speak uh, speak for some time uh, without any pauses and i mean uh, uh, extended answer so you should ask your examiner to allow me to sit there in place of you <laughs> <laughs> so it's better don't worry give me give give me your shaktis <laughs> actually you know uh, 
actually you know practice makes a man perfect you know that i have been teaching for the last 25 years so yes that the vast experience is there yes experience But speaks itself back i am backed up by 25 years experience it yes, takes yes. me or it takes only one or two minutes for me to speak on any topic any topic of the world even if you ask me to speak on any topic i'll take only few seconds to think over it and i can speak on it because i you know everything is there in that computer i just have to click there and it starts coming out automatically yes that's right to so practice makes a man perfect that is important well we are trying to practice yes you are answering well actually and you answered well thank you your ideal person but the second answer was very good quality food you didn't speak much but it was okay and uh, the question i asked you answered them very well and uh, thank you and next is the questions i asked you regarding that again the same question as i asked you earlier whether the education is expensive the same i asked you if the people if suppose they want to follow good food habits means if they want to have quality food is it expensive uh to some extent you can say that uh, quality food is expensive uh because uh, uh uh fresh food good with good quality comes with some cost so you have to uh, put uh, put some extra budget on getting quality food but it's not always correct for all food items uh because uh, there are uh, many items food items that 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 are not uh, uh, always costly uh, for example uh, uh, vegetables vegetables you can you can if you have some space in your house you can grow some vegetables and uh, take fresh veg vegetables from your uh, garden so uh, you can put some efforts uh, to uh, get quality food good uh, fresh vegetables uh, and uh, uh, for other uh, options uh, you have to spend money it's uh, uh, costly because uh, uh, so good good food is all good things are costly and food is also costly uh, but you can do uh, some uh, some things to uh, lower the cost of good food by doing some uh, efforts you can uh, lower the cost of quality but how you yes. can make it lower so you have to find out the ways by your own efforts actually nothing yes. is impossible in this world but you should be determined to do it and you can do it actually even without much sources yes okay uh, if it was you to answer how would you answered this what quality food <laughs> yes <laughs> you same question yes i'll discuss that later even now time is uh, going up and uh, it's the time for me to do something so okay we, so we'll discuss that later don't worry and i okay. prepared some more topics for you for speaking 
and the questions for the topics and letter I have already given. So you just note them down and write about it and I'll check them. Okay, sure. So see you tomorrow again the same time. Yeah. Okay, it was a very productive session today. Yeah. So thank you very much and uh, I look forward to have productive sessions like this. Definitely be. Okay. Because now I have understood the pattern and all. So, yes, yes. So much more better. I hope. Let's yes, hopefully. Let's hope for the best. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. See. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you.